What's up you guys? It's Jono! Today I'm going to be installing a brand new SSD hard drive on my computer and I need to relocate Windows. So this is going to be a little bit of a how to do stuff on your computer video. Rare for my channel, but I do make some of these videos because I like to flex my super gaming PC, which I need to get better cable management on, apparently, according to the comments. So you guys will see that in just a moment. Now, let's go ahead and see, is this video right for you before you go watch the whole thing? Well, what are you trying to do? Do you have a brand new SSD sitting on your desk and you want to install it? Well, then this video is probably for you. Are you just trying to do a clean install of Windows? I'll also show you how to do that, okay? The clean install of Windows is actually really simple. If you showed up at this video and you're just looking to do a clean install of Windows, follow the steps that I just took. You click on your start menu, you go to settings, right? I literally just did that. Start settings. All right, that puts you here. Type in the word reset, okay? You will get reset this PC. Now, you can get started on resetting the PC. You could even do an advanced reset from a USB drive. I'm actually going to do that in just a minute, but there's also another recovery option. Learn how to start fresh with a clean installation of Windows. You might want to do that. If you're just trying to speed up your PC, make it run faster, and you don't need to install a totally new hard drive, then this option might be for you, okay? This is actually pretty good option right here. It switches over to the security app and you can get started on a clean up-to-date version of Windows and that'll make your computer run faster. That's not what I need to do. I'm actually running too small of a hard drive. Let me show you guys my hard drive real quick. Okay, these are all my drives. This is my C drive where I've got Windows installed. You can see it's 118 gigabytes. It's just not big enough. I'm constantly running into issues with this drive. So I'm going to replace it with a much bigger two terabyte hard drive. I'll go ahead and show you guys the hard drive that I bought. I will have the link to this hard drive down in the comments so you know that you get the right one. Okay, there's a lot of SSD hard drives out there and some of them are good and some of them really are trash. So go ahead and just get the good one, the Samsung Solid State. I will put the link for you down in the description of the video. You know I will do that for you. All right, so how are we gonna do this, you guys? First off, you're gonna need three things, okay? Three things, you must have an eight gigabyte USB drive, okay? Eight gigabyte USB drive. The things that you need are just like so easy. They're not hard to procure, but it does say right here, a blank USB flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of space, or you could do blank DVD. If you have a DVD burner, you could burn a DVD and do it, but they do recommend using the blank USB or the blank DVD because the content on it will be deleted. So just make sure it's already empty or you take anything that's important to you off of it because it will get formatted and totally deleted. All right, so you have to have that. You're gonna need an internet connection. You can't go through this process on a computer that is not connected to the internet. I've got a hardwire connection to the internet. I recommend doing that. It'll be better than Wi-Fi. If you can just plug directly into your router, that'll make it easier for you. All right, so there you go. And of course, you're gonna need your brand new SSD, which I've got right here. I'm gonna be taking out the old SSD and just swapping in this one. I don't care about the old SSD, it's very small. I might even give it away to a friend who's building a computer right now. It's just too small for me to care about it. So I'm just gonna take it out and put in the new one and the new one is going to be my C drive and then I'm going to install Windows on that empty drive and use that as my main drive. And then a lot of the stuff that I've installed is actually on my secondary drive, which I call the X drive because I think I'm so cool. All right, so we got my X drive, that is a one terabyte drive and you can see it is very close to full I have my downloads on there and I have a lot of large downloads like movies that I watch and things like that so it's full pretty much all the time too and uh, 193 gigabytes is a lot of space it gives me room for my page file to execute and I do have my page file on my X drive instead of having it on my C drive in case you guys know what page file is it's basically your operating system using your hard drive as RAM and because my SSD is so fast it actually can use it pretty much like RAM page file is really really crucial for your computer to operate on a daily basis. It doesn't just use the RAM, it uses your hard drive as RAM in some cases as well. So anyway, making the page file bigger and making it expansive is gonna be really important to speeding up my computer. And I'm hoping it's gonna solve a problem where my stream keeps on crashing. Now we can go and view my processor info. I'm on the Intel Core i7-5930. Uh, it's like a quad core or something like that. I've got 48 gigs of RAM, which is a lot of RAM. I max out at 64 and 64-bit uh, operating systems. And then I'm on the Windows 10 
Pro. Now, I'm also going to give you guys the link to this page as well. You need this link. This is actually a really, really, really long uh, link that has a bunch of extra stuff on it, but that's the short link right there. And all that extra stuff was just an affiliate link for somebody whose link I clicked that had a tutorial that I was reading through. But this is a very simple process, you guys. I'm gonna pop out the old hard drive. I'm gonna pop in the new hard drive. I'm gonna pop in the USB stick that has Windows 10 on it. I'm gonna boot the computer, install Windows 10 on the new drive, and then I'm good to go. It should only take me about an hour. It kinda sucks because I need to reinstall a bunch of software, but I don't have to reinstall all my software software like my stream software and a bunch of really important stuff is on my X drive but I may eventually uninstall those things and then move them over to my C drive and have all my programs on the C drive where my Windows installation is and just have everything in the same place and that's why I bought such a large drive two terabytes I doubled my capacity from my original one terabyte because I just don't want to run into this problem again and I really just don't want to run into this problem again, but it was a $300 drive and sometimes you got to pay the cost to be the boss, you guys, because I do not want to run into any more problems with my live stream. Okay, so what I need to do now is turn off my computer. I'm going to switch over to my camera and we're going to unplug everything and take out the hard drive, pop in the new hard drive. And the only other thing that I guess I need to mention to you guys is I've already gone through the USB flash drive process. So essentially I downloaded the tool, I ran the tool. It's a really quick process to, I mean, run the tool. I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could just, you know, run it again if you guys wanted to see it real quick. It's a really, really, really quick process. It was extremely fast process. I guess I'll just run it again for all of you guys who are like, I really want to see the process. You can see that I have Norton LifeLock down here and it verifies that the creation tool is safe and it basically just gets a few things ready for you real quick and verifies that you have a USB stick that is big enough to do the installation and it'll ask you what version of the installation that you want but there's only one option which is why it's so simple to do this. Let's give this just a second because it is taking absolutely forever to get the few things ready and we'll come back once this is done. All right, so we're done with that and it actually just took a few seconds right after I did that little outro. So. That was lame, and now it's gonna get the few more things ready now that we have accepted the terms. So let's just wait a second on this one to get ready. Okay, now this is the one step where you have to create the media drive and you have to select the correct thing. So don't do upgrade this PC. You're gonna do create installation media. All right, that's gonna be your USB drive or your DVD or your ISO file. Okay, now you don't need to change any of this, but if you do decide to change this, like I said, there's no other options. You only get Windows 10. Now we're gonna say USB flash drive needs to be at least eight gigabytes. They do warn you about that a couple of times. Here is the USB flash drive that I've already got in there. And I'm just gonna hit next and go through the whole process over again, even though I was already done, just for the benefit of the video. But this does take a really long time and I had to walk away from it. So basically it's gonna format your drive and then put the installation of Windows on there for you so you can boot from that drive. So when I take off my bootable SSD that has Windows on it right now, I'm gonna unplug that thing. There's no more Windows on my computer. So then I need to be able to put Windows on the computer and that's what the flash drive is gonna do. So it's gonna go from the flash drive onto my SSD, which I'm about to plug in in just a few minutes. Once this process gets done, then I'm gonna take apart my computer, plug in the SSD, take out the other SSD and set it on the desk and forget about it. And then we're going to boot from the drive that's being made right now and then put Windows on this drive. So a little bit of a complex process, but it's actually only a few steps. It's actually a pretty easy process. So I'm trying to break this down for you and make it as not complicated as possible. So hopefully I've done that for you. Now let's go ahead and take a real quick break. We're gonna let this thing install and then we're gonna take apart my computer and switch over to my other camera.
Right, you guys, so welcome back to my computer. We are now on my new version of Windows on my new SSD. It took me like an hour or something. I don't know, you can check the timestamps. I think I recorded the timestamps in the video. But you guys can see my camera here is missing a little bit of the filter that's supposed to go on it because it reinstalled my camera software and it just is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit different than where I left it. I don't have all of my shortcuts down here. Things are a little bit different than what I'm used to, but let's go ahead and dive on in. I had to go and manually locate Streamlabs OBS which is now located on my D drive. They renamed my X drive to the D drive, which I am going to rename that again to the X drive, but I forget how, uh, I forget how you do that again. There's a way that you do that. Uh, what is the way that you rename this thing? But anyway, the main thing I wanted to show you guys is that my C drive 
is the new two terabyte drive. You can see right there, two terabyte drive and my used space is 44 gigs, which accounts for the little bit of space that's used up there. And there we go. We have got the entire job done, you guys. We are done. I switched out. I now have my other hard drive sitting here. I may give this away or do a giveaway or something like that. I don't know. I need to actually take some files off of here. So I need to figure out how to actually plug it in and take some stuff off of it because I forgot that there's probably a few things on there I need to take off. But aside from not having done that, this went perfectly and this went smoothly. This went fantastic, you guys. This absolutely went just fantastic. I'm so stoked about it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Windows. I want to see what version of Windows I'm running and we'll go see all that stuff real quick. You actually have to type in processor and it says view processor info and interestingly that will have your Windows info and I am on Windows 10 Pro so it really did give me Windows 10 Pro that was one of the options and it's not one of the options to put on your media which I don't need to have this plugged in anymore so I can unplug it. I've got the Samsung media drive right here. I love this thing. This is the smallest most action-packed USB drive that you can possibly get on the market right now. I really highly recommend this drive. I will put the link for this drive as well as all the other products that I bought throughout the course of this video in the description. So if you guys are looking for good products that I recommend, you can get them from the description. This is a 256 gigabyte drive, just in case you guys were wondering, 256 gigs. The one terabyte drive on a USB 3.1 stick is just not available, you guys. This is a USB 3 stick. It's just not available to get one terabyte on a USB 3 stick. You won't be able to find that anywhere, so don't even bother looking. This is the best USB stick you can get, and 256 gigs in your pocket is a ton of space, you guys. You don't need to carry around one terabyte. This thing will hold everything you ever wanted to hold, except for maybe some gigantic DVDs or movies, but it'll probably even hold those too. Anyway, you guys, that's it for my tutorial. I now have Windows 10 on my brand new drive it didn't take me very long it went completely smooth and I just have to reinstall some software and mess around with some settings my monitor is sideways I don't know if I showed you guys that in the b-roll video but my monitor is sideways I got to correct my monitor I got a few things I need to clean up but really this was an easy installation and I'm so happy that it went smooth and now hopefully my stream will stop crashing We'll see. I don't know. Tune into the live streams to see if it continues to crash on me. Hopefully not. And I got to I got to crop my webcam. Obviously, I have no cropping here, so you guys can see my whole shirt. Anyway, big shout out to everybody who watched this video. Put a random bug emoji in the chat just to prove that you watched all of the video. Okay, any random bug emoji down in the chat, go ahead and put it or anything related to bugs. All right, everybody, that's the end for the video. I hope that this helped you install Windows 10 and your new SSD just like me. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you to my amazing subscribers and peace.